So I originally invested in Tesla in 2017. I invested $10,000 and today it's worth, I think about a million dollars, give or take a couple hundred thousand, depending on the day. My name is uh, Brandon Smith. I'm a 32 year old video producer. I originally wanted to get a house. I went to the bank and I'm like, hey, I have $10,000. I wanna get a mortgage. And they told me no. Went to another bank, they told me no. And they said, you don't have a credit history. I was 29, I was debt free. I paid off my college loans, but I didn't have a credit score. So I thought, okay, well, what do I do with this $10,000 that I have? And I looked at savings accounts and they were 0.5% or less for the rate of return. So I looked around and I, I found this guy, his name was Galileo Russell on YouTube. He has a channel called Hyperchange. And I looked around further and I found this forum called the Tesla Motors Club Forum. And there was these really, really smart people that covered the company in ways that frankly, I just wasn't seeing in the news. Brandon kept buying shares, buying a few more with each paycheck. Eventually, he put about $90,000 into the volatile stock. My reaction when this stock exploded in 2020 was finally, the stock traded flat from 2014 through 2019. You read the press or read any sort of news articles about the company, you think they were floundering and weren't growing at all. That was this sort of dichotomy between retail investors and Wall Street analysts, frankly, for the longest time. I was never really close to ever selling any of my stock. You've got the world's smartest people, the world's smartest engineer leading all of those people, and you have a desire for the entire world to get rid of fossil fuels and you know work towards a greener future. Even if you don't care about that, the performance and the cost savings and the economics outweigh all of that. So that kind of conviction led me through Tesla's toughest times. I think possessions kind of weigh you down. Elon Musk is seen as divisive, in my opinion, by the people that read the headlines or read the bullet points on top of the article that don't actually do the research of Tesla or Elon Musk in general. He's probably one of the most honest people that talk about their company, even to his own detriment sometimes. Sometimes he'll say the stock price is too high. Sometimes if you want to fight with him verbally on Twitter, well, don't be surprised if he punches you right back. Hopefully with this S&P inclusion, we can put some of this volatility behind us and start to see some of those expected rates of growth uh, going here forward. I have never really thought of a point to where I would say, I'm good, I'm gonna sell. You know, yeah, I'm currently at a good spot, but if you look at the company's trajectory, we're only at the beginning.